Hey there, Brad Smith here. Thank you so much for being a part of HealthLink and Automation Links. We, we really appreciate it. And I'm doing this video just to really help you out how you can share your content across all the platforms. There's so many out there, it's pretty confusing. And uh, are you doing it right? So I actually shared one of our blogs from yesterday. I'm gonna show it to you on this screen here and where I share it, how I share it, and how you can make it look the best. So in return, you get the most views back to your website. All right, let's check it out. So this is my blog, Turn Live Chat Visitors into Customers. I wanted to share it yesterday. So first thing I always do is I put it in an email. I mean, email is really simple, just like um, you send out an email from your Gmail account, right? Make it as personable as you can. Um, wanted to see if you've tried live chat yet, question mark. Um, gave a stat how it, it can increase conversion rates. And then the link back to the site. Um, don't take our word for it. Some of our clients have seen great results. And just make it really personable. Uh, this is a great way to get uh, clients back to your website, like reading your blogs and engaging. Um, most people don't want to read a newsletter. Um, they want to see something more personable. So really try to make your emails that you go out <clears throat> personable. This is something we help a lot of our clients with, uh, how to set up this email and get people back to your blogs. All right, so the next thing I did, I went over to my Facebook business page. Sorry if there's a little delay, but I put the video that I made with the link right in here on the business page. Now, if somebody sees this or they come across the business page looking for us, um, they're gonna see the link right at the top. There's gonna be a couple hashtags in there. Now for Facebook, remember, up to three hashtags. You don't want any more than three. So make it about one to three. Right here we have three. Um, we have the video. Now if you don't have a video for your blog, um, your picture should pop up there. And I'll show you that as an example. So the featured image that you put in your blog, this is my featured image. This should show up when you go to share your link on social media. So you guys want a picture in there, you want it to link back to your site, <clears throat> that will get more traffic. Staying on uh, Facebook, next you wanna go to the groups. So try to connect with as many relevant groups um, that you're in your industry. So we're connected with health, fitness, business owners, software, and we go to those groups and we say, you know, hope this helps. So this is a helpful blog that I'm trying to help people with and uh, put some links in there. And what I did here is I didn't put the video. I just put the YouTube link and it automatically filled it in. I gave them this a six top points. So if they don't want to watch it, that's cool. I'm still adding some value, but if you want to learn, learn a little bit more, they can click on the link. So Facebook groups, if you're not already part of some, go join and add yourself. And then you can go ahead and share your uh, content in there and you'll get some new customers from that. Uh, the next thing is LinkedIn. Shut this down. Um, so what we do is we share all of our new blogs right inside LinkedIn. Uh, same thing with a link back to your website. I put a video in here. Um, if you decide to just do the blog link, then that'll show up there and give them some points. I always do the six. You know, whatever I'm telling them about, if they don't want to go to my website, that's cool. I'm still giving them some information that can help. Going to the website is just the benefit. They want to learn more. Now we're going back over to LinkedIn in the Groups, same thing for LinkedIn for groups as Facebook for groups. Join groups that you're part, you wanna be part of. Uh, this one has 99,000 members in it. Uh, not all of them are gonna see your posts, obviously, but uh, put some content in there and you might get some new customers from that. So same thing we did, how to use live chat to get more customers, the link to our site, no video. So you, as you can see it pre-populated, like I was talking about earlier, uh, pre-populated with the image and the link back to the site and then Turn live chat, put my title in there, and I just post it. Cool, so now I'm giving some value to this group, and if they wanna learn more, they can go to our site. Uh, the next one is gonna be from Twitter. Twitter's a great place to get some links back from hashtags. So Twitter's the same thing as Facebook, three hashtags. Uh, they say between two and four, but you know, three is best practice. Same thing, I put my video in here that they can watch. And if they want to go back to the site, they can right here. So go to Twitter too. So we have Facebook, Facebook groups, LinkedIn, LinkedIn groups, Twitter. Uh, those are all links that go back to your site, get new potential clients. All right, next one is Medium. So Medium's a great blog networking. So sometimes you, I put my entire blog in here with links back to the site. 
just to you know build some value and meet some new people that are doing searches. Uh, you can also give like a little tease to get them to the site if they want to see the rest. So take I take my video and then I put the six points that can help and then read. Please read the entire article on our website here. Tell them where they're going to go. Don't make this a bit.ly or some crazy link that they're not sure where it's going. They're going to go to automationlinks.com to my blog. So now they know exactly where I'm going. I'm not trying to hide anything from them. Now there's plenty of other places you guys can go, plenty of other networks that you can share your content. Just try to find what's going to work best for you. Do it the right way. Don't just fill it in with a bunch of you know stuff. Give them some bullet points bring some value and then make it really easy for them to, to go to your site or more if they want to. When they do get to your site, make sure you have some call to actions. As you can see, we have an audio version, we have a video version. I make it really easy for them to see the bullet points, make it easy to read. Uh, most people aren't gonna read this. I already know most people are not gonna go through and read every word. They're probably, the majority are just gonna read the bullet points if they got to this point or skim through the text. So don't go in too deep, make it real easy to read, and then always add a call to action there at the bottom so they can learn more or get in contact with you. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Leave a comment below on any other networks that you guys share on. I'd really like to know where you guys share your content. Um, give me some notes, and then if you need help with any of these channels to share, just let me know. We'd be more than uh, willing to help. So I hope you guys have a great morning, and I will talk to you soon. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner and founder of HealthLinks.com. It's my mission and my passion to help others with their business. So if I can be your coach, your mentor, or help you in any way, that's my goal. My goal is to bring you value. So let me know if there's anything I can help you with, and I look forward to working with you.